gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami, and in today's video we're going to be doing some stuff for my TTC journey. Um, as you guys know, if you're following along, I am now on a month two of trying to conceive. Last month we got a negative pregnancy test so we're trying again this month and um, I'm going to be taking like this little ovulation test kind of thing it's called prove and i will kind of go into detail about it so basically um you can take like ovulation tests and a lot to know like when you're ovulating and i am do i'm not doing that i'm just using an app um called flow to like i don't know they have there's a bunch of different apps that you can use you know so i'm using flow but basically what this is for is to confirm that you did actually ovulate and that your progesterone is high enough to, you know, have a successful present pregnancy. Sorry. Progesterone is extremely important in pregnancy and like, um, just... Know, good things happening like if it's not high enough it could cause miscarriages or just unsafe pregnancy so it's definitely a good thing for it to be high and all that just so you know that you can carry through a healthy pregnancy until something else like takes over for your body there you can look it up it there's a lot of information about it um but yeah i I'm going to try to take this just to know if I did actually successfully ovulate because for last month, well the month before I had stopped taking my birth control and then we started trying and then we got the negative pregnancy test um, and because I had pretty, re pretty recently like two months beforehand stopped taking my birth control i wasn't a hundred percent sure if i actually like ovulated like sure my app can tell me that i ovulated but that doesn't necessarily mean that you you did ovulate um so that's what i'm going to be doing today is taking this test to figure out if i did i took one a couple of days ago and i did get a negative not a couple of days ago a, few, a little bit ago and i got a negative i don't know if you guys will be able to see on here you know, there's two lines which with these tests let me focus the camera yeah so with these tests two lines is a negative and one line is a positive um, and the second line on here is a very very faint but I did go ahead and get a negative before this just so I had it before and after to compare it to um, but if you guys are trying to conceive and you don't know if you have successfully ovulated or if you're curious about your progesterone levels because a lot of people do go to like the doctor's office and get that tested um, because again it is a very important thing in pregnancy and having a healthy successful pregnancy um people go and get like blood work done for that but if you're curious and you know you want to do it at home try this little thing out they sell it on amazon i'll have their like website and um everything like down below but basically what you're gonna do is just collect urine dip it and wait five minutes um the cute thing about this little test thing is they send you a little pee cup because when you're trying to conceive you're taking a lot of pregnancy tests and you're peeing in cups and all that stuff so i think having a cute little cup is you know kind of special so i'm just gonna go ahead and open up one of the little tests it basically just looks like a if you taking an ovulation test um or one of the like just cheapo pregnancy tests um yeah it just looks like that so i'm gonna go ahead and pee and then we will move on with this seeing if i successfully ovulated okay so i just finished going to the bathroom so i have my little pee cup and then i have the test strip 
And it does have like a stopping point, which is that black line that you guys see. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it for five seconds and then wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now I'm just gonna set it down and wait for that to, you know, let me know if I successfully ovulated. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could read you. Um, I'll just read this little thing on there just in case any of you guys are, you know, trying to conceive um, and just curious about this. So it says, "App prove we are passionate about empowering women to know more about their reproductive, reproductive health. That's why we've developed Proof, the progesterone ovulation test, Proof test strips measure progesterone, a hormone crucial and or crucial for conception and pregnancy. That's my son. The only hormone that allows women to confirm or double check that ovulation has occurred. Um, so on their like little pamphlet that comes with it, they do have a little information about like um, confirming ovulation and then trying to conceive. Now it does recommend that you're at least on seven DPO, so seven days past ovulation when you check to see if you are or if you have successfully ovulated because your progesterone levels will be up by then because it's around the time you know that implantation and all of that kind of stuff can occur um so i really hope that i successfully ovulated because we did try for this month so that means in you know about a week and a half or so that i can take a pregnancy test and find out if you know we're pregnant for this month or not um if you guys you know want to follow along with me on this new ttc journey then definitely hit that subscribe button and be a part of my family i do already have one kiddo named parker and he just turned it two and a half so now we are trying for our second kiddo and yeah it's new to me because with parker we didn't try any of this stuff um so trying to conceive and learning about all of this kind of things is new to me so that's why i wanted to go ahead and show you guys this product it's not sponsored or anything i just i saw it on instagram and thought that i would give it a shot so yeah we're gonna wait and see what the test results are okay guys so it has been five minutes and this is the test So as you guys can see, there is only one line. So one line means positive. So that does mean that I successfully ovulated this cycle, which is a really good sign. It also means that my progesterone is high enough. I think it has to be somewhere like at the 10 milligram range or something. I don't know if it's milligrams, but it's supposed to be higher than like a 10, I think. Um, so getting a positive result for both ovulation and progesterone is a really good sign for conceiving this month so hopefully fingers crossed that means that since we did try that we um you know got pregnant this month and sorry if i seem super weird throughout this video it just this kind of stuff makes me really really nervous and like i kind of feel shaky and just weird because we're trying for a baby and it can be a lot <laughs> But yeah, that makes me happy. That's a really good sign that I successfully ovulated. So yay. So definitely make sure to follow along with this journey and I will see you guys whenever I post another video. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.